<sighs> so I find myself each day just kind of getting my patience is wearing thin for technology in general. And, you know, back in video making and, you know, the, the, the stuff doesn't sync up and you got to reboot the computer and, you know, whatever. Uh, so hello, everybody. It is April 20th, 2017, Thursday. Uh, and I figured I would uh, show some records. I The outpouring of, you know, likes and comments and uh, things have just been great. It's been a lot of fun making these most recent videos. Um, but uh, I, I wanted to talk, uh, I was talking to Jerry, Catfish73, Catfisher, Catfisher73, I think I remember your handle. Um, and we were talking about Folkways and some of the, the last videos that I posted and uh, some of those albums that, that came up. And I figured I would make a quick video, and I swear this one will be quick, because there's only six records to talk about. Um, and Jerry, I apologize for stealing your thunder, but you know we both were thinking of this. You know this. Um, Jerry and I were talking about Folkways records, and Jerry was like, "I want to show off all my Folkways records, and I want to show them all in one video." So, um, at least that's how I thought he was conveying it in the text message that he sent me. But um, uh, so I'm going to show this. This is you know a small part of the Folkways collection, six records. Um, these are my Folkways. 10 inch records. So uh, last evening uh, we had some friends come over that are moving away and um, Brian, you know, my friend, I, sh I guess I should call him, um, brought this box of 78 records over, 78s, and uh, he kind of meticulously put them in these like freezer bags and sort of wrote, you know, Foxtrot and children's music and polkas and all that other stuff. And um, he was like, I don't really have anything to play him. And, you know, I only have a turntable that plays, you know, 33 and a third and 45. And I have this like little portable turntable that I got, you know, a couple of years ago uh, that it sort of, you know, it, it actually just sits on top of our, um, our washer or dryer. And uh, that's when I'm working on stuff. I sort of, you know, put my records on down there. Um, when I'm working on that stuff. And uh, I usually like, well, it's it's like a really crappy turntable, so I'm not putting anything good on it. You know, all the, the dollar stuff that I find and uh, the dad rock and, and what have you. See, I'm talking about technology here. My mouth is like not moving at the same speed in the video that I'm looking at. It's it's just weird. Uh, but anyhow, so we, we listened to a handful of these, uh, you know, 78s and played some board games and uh, there was, you know, some interesting stuff on there and it was, you know, I was explaining, you know, that 78s are a 10 inch record and 45s are a 7 inch record and LPs are, you know, a 12 inch record. Did I say that wrong? LPs are a 12 inch record that play at 33. You know, the 78s are a 10 inch record that plays at 78s and 45s, obviously, 7 inch at 45. And he was just kind of mind boggled by the, uh, the, uh, the whole thing there. So anyhow, so it kind of inspired me to pull these out and sort of listen to these. So I've been listening to these uh, before I did this video. But um, so uh, Folkways, you know, uh, uh, Mosash created it. The label sort of started uh, in like 1940. He was kind of uh, producing the like traditional Jewish mu music that uh, was kind of had gone out of print. And uh, by the time you know, the, the end of 1940s uh, rolled around by the end of the of the 40s. Uh, he sort of switched it over to Folkways. I think the first album that came out, I believe, was a square dancing album. But uh, so the cool thing about Folkways is, you know, they, they were able to do things kind of fairly cheaply um, uh, in the sense that, you know, all the, all the albums are kind of the same. They're just sort of this, you know, plain black jacket, kind of this heavy kind of material and then, you know, something pasted on top of it. So they're all sort of the same. Uh, so there's something like very, you know, kind of, um, I don't know, there's there's a sort of redeeming quality with Folkways records that you sort of are, you kind of know what you're getting into. Um, they'll always sort of have this split in the middle and then of course, you know, descriptive liner notes, which, uh, you know, 
This is one of my favorite things in the entire world. So most of these records are, these are all come sort of from the children's series, and I'll sort of show you the, the catalog numbers. Um, so starting with this one, which is the Birds, Beast, Bugs, and Little Fishes, uh, or Animal Folk Songs, sung by Pete Seeger with banjo. So Pete Seeger, of course, uh, a communist. Banjo playing communist. Uh, but, you know, a, a national treasure um, who recently passed on here. But um, sort of, kind of is that piece of music that uh, the person that, I guess, that bridges from you know, the beginning of the 1900s to that sort of the part of the 60s. And um, like I said, just an absolute national treasure. And, you know, it was amazing to have. He, he put a great emphasis on, um, you know, obviously organizing songs, uh, songs about unions and, and things like that, and sort of the, um, the common man, you know, he kind of sang for the common man, but he also did a lot of children's songs. So very important. Um, I read something a long time ago about Arthur Lee from Love, who always said that he would always like write his songs sort of like nursery rhymes because they sort of were easy to remember and um, they were a little more catchy. So, you know, you have songs like, you know, Frog Went a Courtin' and things like that on here. So, uh, you know, songs that you sing the children at a very young age and they remember and they, you know, you can sing every single line of the song basically because it was just ingrained in your head at a very young age so um you know very important um educational tools with this stuff and i think most of these actually came from a uh this actually uh, i got this at a uh thrift store like a habitat for humanity <laughs> they made like five records and one of these and this was just in really great shape so i love this one birds bees beast and little bugs and little fishes um and this one is FP, which is sort of before they kind of, uh, this is, this is, I think that these are sort of in chronological order. The copyright date on this one is 1955. Uh, so it's FP710. Um, next is Uncle Boopy, which this is um, folk tales from Haiti. You know, so, so folk tales um, in the tradition of storytelling and um, passing down from, um, lessons from generation to generation. Obviously folk tales are important uh, for moving culture from one generation to the other. So this is sort of all, um, it's actually from a, a book called Uncle Buki of Haiti. And uh, it's a spoken word album. So just sort of stories that are, you know, morality tales and things like that. So um, this is some fun stuff. This is copyright 1956. All right, uh, and this one, I know that I think I've shown these in past Vinyl Finds videos, but, you know, I really didn't have a chance to sort of digest them and talk about them. Um, you know, as you can see, some of these were, you know, they have that little card that you would get from the library and things like that. But uh, this is uh, an anthology of Negro poetry for young people. Uh, this is another one that's all spoken word. There's a ton of sort of you see the listing here. Um, not all of them would have this this flap, but most of them did. Um, and they're they're just you know they're they're kind of these real short poems, like maybe uh, maybe three or four lines, things like that. But um, just kind of again, this is sort of a way to to pass culture. And there's there's sort of you know the um, sort of talking about you know like field work and things like that. So. Um, you know, did you feel feed my cow? Um, the unknown color, I think, was a pretty good one. I like that one. But uh, the banjo player, Alabama Earth. There's, you know, some interesting things that are, uh, you know, just sort of a, a glimpse of of life. You know, some of the beautiful things of life, right here. Um, this one, I believe, I want to say this is from. Uh, so one of the last ones from the fifties. This is from fifty nine. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, show. Okay, so this one was also FP, FP 107. And this one was FC, which sort of indicated uh, that was the children's series was like FC. Um, this one is FC 7025. So I sort of got that off the best I could. It's called Gosh, What a Wonderful World. And all the songs on here are about different countries like Canada and Mexico and uh, Italy, Switzerland, France, Holland, um, 
so sort of a an interesting multicultural sort of um, album for children. So, uh, and these last two, uh, so as the, the these are these both are from the '60s. This is, I believe, 1962 for this one, and the next one's 1963. Um, but the they sort of kind of broke off the children's series, so they kind of categorized it. These are activity ones. These are songs that are. Um, you know, like the, these are poetry, these are, you know, the activity songs are obviously ones that they would play for children to kind of get them up and to dance around and, you know, kind of things like that. So, the, you know, the songs that, um, you know, like Skip to My Lose on here, um, Ring Around the Rosie, Here We Go Around the Mulberry Bush, not the move version. Um, uh, or I'm sorry, not the uh, uh, Spencer Davis group. Pew. And uh, London Bridge, Shoe Fly, Liza Jane, Pig in the Parlor, Yankee Doodle. Uh, so this is Game and Activity Songs for Children, sung by Pete Seeger. So fun stuff there. And the last one um, is Nursery Rhymes, Games, and Folk Songs, sung by Cisco Houston. Um, Humpty Dumpty, Three Blind Mice, London Bridge, My Body Lies Over the Ocean. Um, Mulberry bushes on this again, and Froglet and Horton. So these are sort of fun um, children's records, 10 inch records. So from one of the first parts of my Folkways collection. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you saw some good stuff, and uh, we'll see you on down the trail.